you are one year, two year, three year dropper, you will be using this code. You have to present the GAP certificate if you are passed out. Code 3 is for the dropper of the Karnataka. You will be using Code 3. Code 4 uh, is for BMS, BHMS, BSc Nursing, B Pharma and in some of the foreign uh, uh, colleges. Hey students, are you also confused with the code? So let's clarify everything. So Code 1, if you are appearing for the 12th exam, uh, even from the Karnataka board, right? You'll be using the code one if you are appearing for the 12th exam in 2025. Second is the safer code. If you are already passed out, you are one year, two year, three year dropper, you'll be using this code. You have to present the GAP certificate if you are passed out, if you are 12th passed out in any of the uh, code, right? Next is the code three is for the dropper of the Karnataka. You'll be using code three and those who are appearing for the uh, exam this year, they will be using code 1 from the Karnataka, right? Code 4 uh, is for BMS, BHMS, BSc Nursing, B Pharma and in some of the, uh, you know, foreign uh, colleges, schools, they have some pre-medical um, studies also. So, you will be using the code 4 in case you are studying in, uh, studying these subjects. Code 5, if you are in the first, second year, BSc or third year of the BSc, right? So, in that condition, you will be using code 5. And you know what is the criteria? You should have the PCB plus English in your class 12th. And you must um, have this uh, combination of any of the two subjects from the PCB in the BSc itself. Code 6 is for the PS BSc passed out. If you are you have already completed your BSc in appearing for the NEET exam, then you'll be using the code 6. And code 7 for the NRI students. So if you are in the Gulf countries, you'll be using the code 7. I hope it's clear. In case you have any doubt, please write down in the comment box. We'll be reaching out to you. All the best.